I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by CoinMiles.io, the best place to earn Bitcoin rewards when you spend your filthy fiat online. If you're not using it, you are leaving sats on the table, shop online, or get gift cards for all your favorite vendors, including retail, travel, apparel, home supplies, groceries, and more. Hit the link below and earn 25,000 sats just for signing up. I'm going to pull up an article here from Bitcoin Magazine, but this is about uh, Nunchuck launching a collaborative Bitcoin custody platform. And so a lot of people are familiar with the idea of a collaborative multi-sig where a company holds a key for you and then you hold the remainder of the keys and they're kind of like your signer of last resort. And of course, Nunchuck does this, Unchained does this, Casa does this. There's a lot of ways to do it. And you can also create your own multi-sigs. Nunchuck has done something interesting with uh, something that they're rolling out called Byzantine. And what they've turned their software into is kind of like a software as a service where you can kind of use their suite of tools, mm -hmm. but you become an actual advisor to others that becomes mm -hmm. the person that is holding the last resort keys. And so you can, as an individual, maybe as, as an educator, or again, like I guess their term advisor, mm -hmm. it's a level beyond just an uncle Jim kind of level. They're basically kind of renting out the tools, again, software as a service for advisors that want to create their own multi-sig or collaborative multi-sig businesses for mm. clients that they advise. When I look at this, and again, to kind of flesh out what it is, well, you would use their software and you would say to, you know, maybe a client that you have and say, hey, okay, so I'm going to create a key and you're going to create a couple of keys with maybe tap signers or cold cards or any other host of hardware wallets that you like, whatever they, they prefer. And you'll be able to move money entirely without me. That's totally fine. But if anything happens, then you can come to me. I'll be the signer for you. And you can set all the policies of like, after what thresholds do you require more proof that it's actually them? All those kinds of things you can set up in here. And there's also a built-in encrypted chat. So you have direct communication with anybody that you're doing this type of thing with. I've got to believe here that this is making Unchained and Casa sweat a little bit. It doesn't fully decentralize, but it partially decentralizes the idea of collaborative custody. It takes it from Nunchuck is the entity that holds all the keys and is a honeypot for the information of what those multi six contain or Unchained or Casa or whatever it may be. And it splits it up to multiple advisors that would be the ones that are privy to that information only. And furthermore, Nunchuck also does this stuff without KYC because it's, it's not required for them to know your information in order to hold a key with you as long as you have login credentials of some sort. Like basically they do it via email, but they do have a way um, that they're looking at implementing where your private key is actually the only identification you need or your public key. And so I'm just kind of looking at this from the perspective of what is this gonna spur on in terms of how we custody, how we secure, how we deal with on-chain Bitcoin entirely. There's a lot of stuff happening in terms of multi-sig and on-chain security, both from the company perspective, but also from the like actual on-chain technical perspective too. I think we haven't really seen the implications of that and what it means. And I don't think the world is even close to catching up to the idea that the technology here is infinitely safer than even what the laws are requiring of companies to do in kind of the legacy finance world. Like the laws are so slow to catch up with this kind of stuff.